you are then able to step back and think, do I want to give that up? Stop that and have to restart it if I can. And you quickly conclude it is not worth it. It's not even close. I like to say that we're done running from alcohol. We are running toward the life that we want. And when we start to live the life that we want, we up our pace and we chase what we want. Absolutely. It feels yeah. so good. So when alcohol comes knocking, you think, why would I give this up? What I'm running toward, what I'm receiving, the gains that I've achieved for a 30 minute high. Doesn't right. make sense. Yeah. And I'm new enough, that, you know, along the journey now, uh, probably just over a hundred days in where I'll have cravings or go to a party. Um, so I don't want listeners to think that, uh, the, you know, there's this automatic immunity that happens where you don't have that. Um, and sometimes those can even be very powerful. But once you are living in this, I guess, to give, get, get back to our kind of phrase, virtuous cycle, you are then able to step back and think, do I want to give that up and kind of just stop, stop that and have to restart it if I can? Ugh. And you quickly conclude, you quickly conclude that it is, it is, I'll just speak for me. It is not worth it. It's not even close. So um, it's becoming easier and easier. But once you're connected to those communities and people and chasing things, and like I love what you said, the pace just quickens. So the cycle or the wheel gets faster and faster and faster because mm -hmm. you're able to absorb and experience much, much more and handle a lot more. Um, it's just not worth it. Right, right. And I love that you touched on on the fact that, look, yeah, I still get some cravings. As, as much as you're doing in your life, <clears throat> pardon me, as much as you're doing and achieving in your life, uh, the physiology of healing from addiction hasn't changed. Your body is still learning these new ways of thinking and being. And alcohol hasn't forgotten your name. It's going to tap you on the shoulder. Uh, that's part of the process. And <clears throat> one of our goals is to liberate you from, uh, from the guilt or shame or the, I shouldn't be feeling this now. Uh, and understanding this is, this is a physiological process. And the best way to move through it is with support, connection, accountability, and paving a life for yourself that will eventually make alcohol very small and irrelevant. So thanks for sharing that, Nate. 